What's goody everybody? It's your boy and I'm back with another banging video. And today, I had to come back with another bird video, man. Hey, I've been liking. Like, not to say liking, but I haven't been, been as consistent as I would like. I want to be, like, ultra consistent. So, I'm trying to get back on that level. So, I appreciate everybody that's been watching so far. If you're new to the content, make sure you like it and subscribe. And we check out a lot of Larry Bird content on the channel. We check out a lot of sports, not just Larry Bird. We check out a lot of different types of sports. We check out music. We got a lot of things going on. That being said, if you're new, make sure you're hitting the little buttons at the bottom. Appreciate the rest of y'all. What's goody bird gang? We back again. I told you I'm gonna be back very consistently. I'm gonna be reacting to bird highlights, all that type of stuff, man. I got a lot of stuff coming. Today we got Larry Bird. Excuse me, Larry Bird said the funniest line. NBA legends remember birds. Excuse me, dang. Let's go back. NBA legends remember birds iconic trash talk. I'm sorry about that, guys. I don't know what's going on today. Um, but with that being said, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to jump into it. We're going to speak a little bit throughout. We're going to speak after the video. Make sure you're liking the video up. Let's get it to at least 5,000 likes, guys. Let's get it. Who is the best trash talker you played against? Uh, Larry Bird. They say Larry was more of a trash talker than Jordan. Yeah. So give, me, give me a little bit more about the LB, though. Larry Bird, man. But Bird didn't talk trash to you, Oh, did my he? God. Bird talked trash to everybody. <laughs> everybody <laughs> talk about how Bird... His trash talking is legendary. That's Everybody the, says that. That's, yeah. that's he's the, the goat. The fourth he's the best trash talker that. ever. He is the goat of trash talkers, Bird. So like, okay, let me pause it real quick, guys. Y'all know for a fact this is a newer video, guys. I, I made a show specifically. This this video was two weeks ago, so I know this should be like more updated uh, content. Maybe some underlined secret stuff we never heard before. You know what I'm saying? Because um. We like to hear about those Larry Bird trash talking stories. I know for a fact he had to be the best trash talk. I don't care what nobody says. Jordan was good. He was good at it. But Bird was different. It was a little different. And I feel like at the same time, Jordan was at, wasn't was as much of a trash talker as Bird. Bird was already talking trash. Like, he went into the, came into the game talking trash. I feel like Jordan, for most of the stories I heard for Jordan... They had to antagonize him a little bit, you know what I'm saying? They had to do something or say something weird or off or it was something that made him snap, you know what I'm saying, that made him talk the trash. He he walked the walk all the time, but Bird was always ready to talk some, he was a different breed, you know what I'm saying? And I appreciate that about him. But uh, let's jump back into it. And, and so what was the fun, like, did he say anything to you? Like, he, was he funny? Was he mean? Like, what, what did he do? Give me a story, man, by LB, man. So... Did, did he get to a point where I, he had I, respect I, I, for you? I always tell this, people, this story about Larry Bird. I remember one time we were playing the Celtics. I, I don't know if people, I don't know how this is going to play with America, right? <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but let, me, let, me, let me just tell you what this dude told me one time, right? Welcome to the captivating tale of Larry Bird's most legendary trash talking phrase. This video is a roller coaster of humor and intensity, showcasing not only Bird's wit, but also the profound respect he commanded from fellow NBA players, particularly those of color, and the respect that Larry Bird had for them. This video has so many NBA legends and players that go through what Larry Bird told them, and the trash talking was unbelievable. We've compiled this iconic phrase into one must watch video, and it'll make you wonder just how many other players Bird delivered this line to throughout his storied NBA career. If you're hungry for more Larry Bird stories like this one, drop a like on this video, let's aim for 3,000 likes, and don't forget to subscribe if you relish this content and crave more. All footage, podcasts, yeah, and guys, interviews and clips that are used in this channel. video are on the screen right now and listed down below in the description, so be sure to explore them fully. Without them, this video would not be possible. Get ready for an unforgettable journey through Larry Bird's legendary trash talk, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Question for you. Go ahead. We're talking about white guys in the NBA, mm -hmm. right? Are y'all talking about white guys? I think there is a different level of respect for the white guys we feel like belong in the NBA. Bro, you guys are really a superhuman, so you're people. <laughs> you're people. Come here, people, bro. And imagine, I, imagine how good Larry Bird was. After four years boy, of who was that? Like, how good was Larry Bird that I think he's that good? I hate when they compare people to Larry. Yeah. Larry was, he was a phenomenon. Unbelievable. I ain't never seen anybody like him that not super athletic, but he beat you in so he's many so ways. Larry was a quiet guy, and he wasn't like a 
a loud and obnoxious personality, um, but he had a great sense of humor. There's hope he can help solve professional basketball's difficulties, which some say are compounded by a question of black and white. We did not think that you could find a white guy who could play better than any black guy. And uh, French Lick, you know, he he grew up, he played with the garbage truck workers, but that's who he played with. That's <laughs> and that's what I heard. I couldn't wait till school be over, because I knew over on the courts, the waiters from the hotel would be over there. They were black, older, and they let me play. I got an opportunity to play against a black man, and they treated me good. I couldn't wait to play against them. All right, let me pause right there, man. It was a different era at that time, so people wasn't that open to even thinking that a white guy could be that nice. You know what I'm saying? Because the athletic, you know what I'm saying, thing. But at the same time, there were also people like those waiters, those those trash men that let him hoop out and were like, man, nah, that boy can ball. There's a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? No matter what color, no matter big, small, tall, round, I don't, I'm skinny, that if you got game, you got game. And that's the type of ball I am, you know what I'm saying? And Larry Bird has got it. I don't care what color. It, it, he could have been pink. He could have been blue. He could have been clear. Well, he could have been clear. I was going to say clear. I just It sounded stupid in my head when I said it. But it, you get what I'm saying. It, it don't matter. His, his skill would have stood out to me. And that's the, that's the reason why I got to look, look around to other players. But I'm sorry. And I'm not saying he's not athletic at all. Don't People, y'all got to stop trying to twist the words. He's athletic. He's just not as athletic as the other people. I stress that out a lot. You know what I'm saying? But due to the fact that he's not as athletic as the rest of the Jordans, the Hakeems, you know what I'm saying? The, the super athletic players in the league at that time. Due to the fact that he's not, and he compensates that with even more skills and intelligence, and then he adds on the trash talking. It's kind of crazy to me that they say that he... He's a quiet person, and he, you know what I'm saying, but he's the best, biggest trash talker. Like, when it comes down to trash talking, he's the guy. So it's funny for, for me to see some of these people saying he was quiet. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. But it'd be like that. It's a quiet one sometimes. You know, silent assassins. Uh, but uh, let's jump back into it. The best, and at that time, they were the best. He doesn't see race. He really doesn't. Here he was out there with a court of black guys out there talking trash with him. And the rest of the fellas are sitting there going, hey, the boy, man, what can you say? <laughs> you know, and, and I think what America saw in this guy was somebody who really didn't see race. Every time I got off that bus, it seemed like they were waiting on me to get there. So when I started playing basketball, whether it be college or, or pros, I always felt like I fit in. He ain't into all that, yeah. right? He like, you know. He did his own thing. But you better put somebody on me that, that There's I some melon in there, yeah, yeah, in yeah. their skin. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. If he ain't got no melanin, yeah, I can't. he can't guard me. He can't guard me. That you disrespecting my game. <laughs> and just a fact. got some melanin, he gonna have a long night. Hey, I'm gonna take you back to this. Our back line at, at one time was Kelly Trapuca, Bill Lambeer, Kim Benson. Three white dudes. Two of them I ain't never heard of. You remember John Hensley? No, I don't six know. seven white guy, really good defender. Right? Okay. We're playing the Celtics and getting ready for the jump ball. And I remember talking to Larry, who was amazing. Yeah, I, I remember uh, we played y'all in Hartford. Mm -hmm. And this particular time, Price was out and I was starting against the Celtics. And I'm starting and I'm guarding Larry Bird. I remember him, he was cursing under his breath. And I asked him, I said, Larry, what's going on with you? He says, <laughs> and, and, and he said, Chuck, can I talk to you a second? I said, Chuck, what's up, LB? He says, yo, man, y'all being disrespectful to me. You guys are being disrespectful to me. That's right disrespectful. <laughs> and I says, what are you talking about? He's like you. Disrespecting me. That's what he said. Up. And uh, uh, Ken Benson. <laughs> Remember Ken Benson? <laughs> Remember Ken Benson? I said, Larry, I would never let one of my players be disrespectful to you. You're Larry Bird. He says, he's like, yeah, y'all being disrespectful. I said, what are we doing? He says, I think we up one. And Larry look at me and Vincent come to guard him. So Larry's always called me cheesy, right? He's like, so wait, we, we come out of the huddle. And Larry looks at me. And do you remember what he said? 
He goes. He said, who guard me? And you know, he called me Cheesy. He goes, Cheesy. Cheesy, who guard me? And I was like, you know, I got Benson. And he pointed right at Benson. You putting him on me? <laughs> <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Hold up. He pointed at the dude, like, y'all putting him, and he's standing right there. Now, this story, I ain't gonna lie, I've heard it, but this is way more in-depth. I've only heard it from Charles Barkley's perspective. This is everybody that was in the group <laughs> venting himself, too. Like, so y'all gonna put him on me. Y'all got all this melanin right here, and it's a big deal at the time. So, like, you, Bird's like, bro, no white guy ever, period, in the world can guard me. That's how he feel, is that type of confidence. So... He's like, y'all go every. <laughs> it's crazy. It's way more in depth this time because everybody in the group is there. And the way they putting it together is crazy because is they all telling the story and then he's piecing it together from every perspective within the one story. That's crazy. I like the way he did the video. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to start doing some of these newer videos too, man. That's crazy. But um, <sighs> that's tragic, man. It's hard. It's it's hard for Vincent, but I kind of he had to respect it. He was probably having a hard night anyway. You know what I'm saying? And Bird, I respect his mind because, I mean, he's Bird, man. Why would y'all even do that? Um, let's get back into it, though. <laughs> and Larry would run by the bench. So the whole bench can hear him. And tell Doug Moe, who's the coach, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. get him off me. <laughs> this all you got for me tonight. Like, you got no one else that can guard me? That's exactly what he said. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> come on. Tell Coach Lenny Wilkins why he got this white kid. Craig Elo guard me. He said, uh, yeah, I hope your mom's not watching because I'm about to embarrass you. <laughs> and I was like, why, why would you do that? Why would you say that to me? They put him on Larry and Larry was weighing his ass out. I hope your mom's not watching because, yeah, he wound up with like 31. You guys are putting a white guy on me. That's disrespectful. You guys are guard me with a white guy? <laughs> Don't even Don't try it, face as it came out, too. He said, these are his words. You better put a brother on me. <laughs> you ain't got no brothers? <laughs> <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's too easy with a white guy on him. All right, here's Dennis. Gets it in the bird. Larry, a runner. Got it! <laughs> Of course he made the last basket we lose, right? I just started laughing. I had no comeback when he says, Y'all got a white guy trying to guard me. I'm like, what? <laughs> and I'm sitting there like, I'm laughing in the middle of a game. Don't ever put a white guy on me. I feel disrespected when you put a white guy on me. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> Let me tell you though. I looked over at Larry, I go, dude, I'm just trying to make a living, all right? <laughs> I want to say, you know, remember you white, right? <laughs> You're white. <laughs> he forgot that. It's like, come on, just like when we put Scott Webman on, you know, I don't know if you heard about that. It's like, don't, come on, that's embarrassing. Don't Yo, put yeah, him on. Oh, yeah, Bird me. said. Yeah, 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 don't put a don't, white don't, guy don't, on. Don't put a white guy on. Did he say that to y'all? Man, he talked more trash than any. I, I don't think anybody can talk trash like that. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time, his trash talking, it seemed like it was for motivation. It wasn't like he was just always trash talking to yeah. everybody. It was just, it was spotty, but when he did it, it was big. I so when they did that, he it. said, I, I had to torch his ass so they understand. <laughs> and you ain't gonna see him again. Get him off me. Hey man, you can't put no white dude on hey, me. Hey, hey, bro. <laughs> that is straight disrespect, <laughs> not, right? This is disrespect. disrespectful when y'all put a white guy on me. But it was it was those subtle things that he said that were just I mean they were so funny. We loved it. We but even good. the other bench is like laughing. And we're all looking at each other like is he for real? He was like you sh you disrespecting me by putting a white guy on me. I, I, I feel you. But that's Larry cuz when I he played you. back in the day that's all he played against was brothers. He said, don't put no oh, white dude shit. on me. So check this out. So the next year we come back, uh -huh. I said, I got somebody for your ass, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> who? He said, who you got? I said, Rodney. <laughs> well, Rodney. Mm. He get said, okay, he, he's a little better. Mm. He said, but don't ever put no white dude on me mm. because that is disrespectful. Mm. He gonna torture you. Matt, tell me if I'm wrong, man. You can pull up the quote. <laughs> this no, you're. I mean, you're. You're right, a thousand percent. I've seen him say that when I was on the court. 
Larry Bird is a black guy, you know, <clears throat> that bleached his skin, huh? <laughs> just so he can, just so he wouldn't get in trouble going downtown Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> because if you heard his diction, you would understand. It. He's the most black white dude ever played in the oh NBA. Oh my God, that is so funny. <laughs> you gotta laugh. Yeah, of course. I mean, you gotta laugh. It's I'm the like, setup too. Like, yeah, you, 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 you like, like how What's like, happening out here? Hey man, don't put a white guy on me. That's just fucking disrespectful. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. Listen, you can't say anything bad about Bird. I mean, he's one of the greatest, greatest ever. I don't know how America gonna feel about that. They'll but, be all right. But I think he said it in Sports Illustrated too. Yeah. You can go get the quote. I've, I, I've heard I heard other people talk about Larry Bird, and I had conversations with people like John Sally, and he said the same thing. Larry Bird would put fear in me and everyone else. Larry was just the business. He said it was disrespectful for you, for the opposing coach, to put a white player on him. Say you disrespected me. You disrespected my game to not to give me. Yeah, I, I want all the smoke. <laughs> and then he was going to talk smack and sound like it. And that's how I knew that he was pas en blanc. <laughs> he was passive for white. He was just passive. He I, was black. Yeah, I was like, man. When I, he walked on the court, he was black. I know he walked out on the court one time. Somebody said, man, well, get this white boy on me. He can't guard me. And Larry served him. All you know what I'm time. saying? So I'm pretty oh, sure he, he heard that before, man. too. Ooh. And he would, say, he would say, Sal, uh... What's up, Sal? I said, no. Nah. He goes, you on me? I said, yeah, I got size on me right now. I've been watching every movie. He goes, y'all not double teaming? <laughs> Looking around, he goes, yo. I go, nah, it's just me, fella. He goes, mouse in the house. Yo. Mouse in the house. I'm going to go over here for 2.1 seconds. I'm going to go like this. And they change the play, and he catches the ball. He does this. You better get help. You, 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 <laughs> you better ask for help. Shoot back. You know that? Yep. That little, yep. vocal, little jumper you had. And he shoots it, he says, Sal, you better ask for a double team, bro. And he'll tell you exactly where he's going to hit it, and then he'll hit it. He took a shot one time, I went up to the... I yeah, remember that one. You do? Yeah. I went up to... You did the college thing. Shot! I go, shot! And he goes, yes it is. <laughs> Draws! I was like, oh, somebody's about to get in and take this. I'm a foul him. And he'll walk <laughs> off. If you see some tapes, a lot of people was always jumping on him when he would uh, make last-second shots. But everybody was surprised but him. He was unbelievable. He <laughs> really he was. was and I, I remember talking about, yeah, he talked a whole lot of shit. But I guess it ain't shit talking if you backing, backing it, up. it up. Yeah, I'm just and talking. And he was backing it up. Yeah, right, you know? right, right. And that was one of the greatest things I loved about him. Man, he, he, he was a legend for real. It's like this dude here is for real. He's different. Wow. And the fact that he's able to back it up made it that much special. Let me know what you thought about this video down below in the comments. If you did enjoy it, I'd really appreciate if you guys could leave a like to show your support. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And here are two new videos I think that you will also enjoy. All right. That's the end of the video, guys. I thought that was a great video. I like the fact that he had all those different sides because I had only heard that side from Chuck, man. But, um, well, from Charles, from Charles Barkley. I'm sorry. But uh, at the end of the day, man, everybody says the same thing. He was the greatest trash talker. But at the end of the day, it's not only trash talking if you're backing it up he's just speaking facts period but he was the best trash talker and the fact that he was a quiet guy aside from the trash talking is funny and then on top of that in some videos they talk about how he's a gm now and everything and he was a coach and everything and now he's like blue collared so he he act like he don't know nothing about what they're talking about <laughs> Yo, it's an amazing backstory from him, bro. I always appreciate checking out his videos, man. Um, and this is also a new one. I want to try to get more more basketball videos, more videos, a lot more content coming for y'all in particular. So if y'all appreciate this content, make sure y'all liking the video up and subscribing to the channel. Let's get this one up to at least 5,000 likes. If you ain't subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe to the channel. You feel me? Got big things coming for you. I appreciate you. I hope you know what it is. And until next time, I'm out you dig.